Hello, welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It's the week of September 15th, 2016. I'm Brandon Zeck, and we're here with a special guest star. Emily Peacock! Hmm. And we're here at the Menil Park. We're looking at the wonderful Rothko Chapel and no broken obelisk. It's a sad state of affairs, actually. They're draining it. Yeah, you could say that the broken obelisk is broken. Uh, number 5 is a show opening Saturday at Diverse Works. It's Pablo Helguera... Uh, the show is called a F- the, the Fable. Fable is to be Retold. Uh, so Hilgera, um, he currently works at the MoMA in New York, kind of doing education programs. And I really found out about him uh, the first time last year during the Texas Contemporary for his little cartoons. Yeah, little cartoons kind of look like David Shergley talking about the art world or sort of criticism about the art world. But this is a little bit different, so it's going to be installation, video work, uh, sculptures, and a series of collages, and along with a performance as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's about linguistics and communication, and particularly between children and adults, mm-hmm. and the empowered and the marginalized. On to number four uh, is a two-parter. Uh, it's Art Palace in Houston, Texas, and Aaron Cluley in Dallas. Mm-hmm. So we have Kevin Tadora in both of them uh, at in Dallas and in Houston, and then we have Nathan Green that's also at Art Palace. Mm -hmm. Um, And I like these two together. Um, Kevin Tadora is a photographer who's definitely pushing the boundaries between photography and sculpture, and then we have Nathan Green who's pushing the boundaries between painting and sculpture, and they're both, you know, brightly colored and looking at texture and depth. Yeah, both artists have very visually appealing work, you know, Mm -hmm. Tadora has a little bit of everything you know, to kind of make it three-dimensional and shapes and come off the wall. You know, Nathan Sometimes Green... Sometimes they're not even on the wall at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Number three is uh, Pablo Siquier at Sicardi in Houston. Called uh, Hostile. Yeah, the show is called Hostile. Uh, it's in Sicardi's project space, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a show number of pieces-wise, but it's mid-size to large-scale drawings and they're graphite uh drawings i think that are in this show but he's also done charcoal drawings in the past super detailed super detailed they look computer generated but he draws them by hand mm-hmm. super meticulous super detailed they own um, they're so detailed they they seem to sort of vibrate when you look at them yeah they have a real op art quality uh they kind of remind me of like the mc escher infinite staircases that keep on going up and up absolutely uh, they really blend into each other like that and they're also really influenced by, uh, I believe, European and Latin American design. He's from Argentina. <laughs> and number two is... Seth Orion Schweiger at the Southwest School of Art. I saw it th- this past week when I was in San Antonio, and it's great. Uh, the first iteration of this show was earlier this year at Pump Project in Austin. So that was Complex 1. This is Complex 2. You know, completely transforming the space creates sort of like a maze. You said by the time you made it to the end of the exhibition, you felt like, "How do I get out of this?" Mm-hmm. It was a little. It's a little oppressive, and he does he does use humor mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. his work, and it's a little. It's not a passive experience. Yeah, it's a very active viewing experience. He has these sort of interesting sculptures made out of alabaster that are funny, and he has a piece that it looks like the Declaration of Independence under like a vitrine. Seems like super precious, but it's really like reviews and press releases from his past shows. Pictures don't do it justice. You have to be there and you have to experience it to get the full effect. And number one we have at the Dallas Contemporary is Pedro Reyes. Um, And Pedro Reyes is from Mexico City, Mm -hmm. and he deals a lot with philosophy, so Greek philosophy, Greek statuary. um, Some uh, photo collages where he took photos of uh, old Greek statues and kind of manipulated them, printed them out on fabric, and then cut them up and reassembled them. So I think there may be some sort of Dr. Frankenstein element. I don't Mm -hmm. know if they're reassembled perfectly or not, so kind of messing with the idea of what the Greek statue is and represents. Yes, I'm, so I'm familiar with uh, some of his uh, larger sculptures that he's done in the past, and this is a this is a combination of, a combination of new work and old work. It seems like, and I think it's it, it's going to be impressive. It's not to be missed. What are you doing this weekend? I'm gonna go to Austin this weekend. Patrick Renner is doing a new uh, sculpture there, and I'm gonna go see him. And then I'm going back to and then I'm going to Dallas to do stand up at the Nasher on Monday. So that should be interesting. <laughs>